Our theme really today at the ViewSonic booth is about collaboration. So I hope that as you see the tools, you'll think through ways that you might use them to collaborate with your students in the classroom or even with each other as um, colleagues or teammates as you think about presenting things for back to school night or grade level team presentations. So Adobe's not just for kids, but you're gonna love the way you can use the tools. Okay, so that's a little bit about me. Uh, my passion as a school principal was to support and mentor new teachers. So I forgot to mention this last time. I am the founder of New Teacher Chat and I ran New Teacher Chat on Twitter for seven years. In 2017, I retired the chat because I felt like my work was done there. And so one of the things that I really love to do when I do present with this board is make sure that even if you're not a new teacher, that you feel like if you have a question, you feel like you really got supported, okay? And as an adjunct professor, I really feel like it's important to be able to reach students of all ages. So for me now, I work specifically with adults and adults who are much harder sell than kids. I'll tell you that right now. So let's look at the three tools that Spark has, and let's think about how you might be able to use them in your classroom with each other. So the first thing you want to do is check out Adobe Spark, and you want to figure out how you would like to begin to use it. Because as we go through, you're going to see it, but really you're going to want to sign in and create an account for yourself either through Adobe or through email, Google, or Facebook, okay? I'm a little reluctant sometimes to use Facebook, but in order to start to play with it, I want to remind you that you've got to create an account, okay? So in the Spark tools, the first one that we're going to look at quickly is Spark Post, okay? So you can create posts for Twitter, for different places, for Instagram, and you can use your own ideas or the design templates that are there, and you can auto-size them for what you need them for, okay? So let's look at it real quick. So you can create beautiful graphics for the things that you want to talk about, or the things that you want your students to talk about. And it is so easy and seamless that as your kids start playing with it or you start playing with it, you're gonna find that it's really, really easy to use, okay? So that's Adobe Post, all right? Okay, now we're gonna look at something that's gonna be fun. Spark page is also part of that trio because we've got post, page, and video. Spark page allows you or your students to do projects of any kind, portfolios, websites, it's endless. And it becomes something that Adobe calls a glide show and I'm gonna show you in a minute how that looks and you can share it everywhere, okay? So let's take a look at it. This website I'm going to show you in a minute was created by third graders in the UK for a deli. I mean, and wait till you see it. So this company hired third graders to create this website for them, okay? Now look how seamless and beautiful it is. Is that amazing? Yes. And Paige is so easy to use that you will love using it for presentations that kids are doing. Instead of having them use slides or PowerPoint, you can say, we're all going to make our presentations in Adobe Page. And the kids will love it. 
And since I told you third grade, there's no excuse to say, oh, well, at least my kids are really young. They can do it. The last tool in the trio is Spark Video, which is a little different from page and post because what you're doing in video is you're actually using the video like an Instagram story, a Facebook story, a video on your um, smartphone, but you have the background support of Adobe to add a soundtrack. Okay. Go in and check the link, or when you go in and check Spark Video, you'll see the examples that they've used to highlight. So your kids can do a video story. You can do a story to present yourself as an educator. It's really beautiful, okay? So Spark Post, Spark Page, and Spark Video. Now, one of the things that I really like about this, you can use your voice. So you can actually speak into it and then get a soundtrack under it. So it's really cool. Now, Spark Premium had a cost connected to it, and now it's going to be free on April 1st for educators, okay? So I'm not going to go through all the different things on the site, but I want you to go to Spark Premium, and you'll be able to use branded stories, branded um, images and templates. And so if you want to brand your school and use your school logo, on the things that you present in page, post, or video, now you can do it, okay? So check it out, and on April 1st, it will be free for educators, okay? Right. Adobe Ed Exchange is also part of the options that Adobe provides for teachers. So when you go to Adobe Ed Exchange, you can find information on how to use post page and video and there are free trainings there okay so make sure as you're getting started and to your point you were saying how do you use that go to the adobe ed exchange and you'll be able to get information and actually get some free pd okay and then lastly you can email galan at adobe.com and my friend will be happy, her name is Clara, she will be happy to walk you through, get on a call with you, anything that you have interest in doing with post, page, and video in more detail. She is the representative at Adobe for educators. She's adorable, she's a good friend of mine. And um, she also has opportunities for educators who want to grow with Adobe. You know how some companies will have ambassadors? that you might be able to get connected to, okay? And the main thing that I want to leave you with is that by using the tools that Adobe provides, it's not about the tool, it's about our pedagogy, right? But they allow you to bring out the best in students and yourself because our students should never be passive consumers, right? They should be collaborating and engaging with us in the classroom. And then, if you, you probably, some of you are too young to remember, but I remember when my dad used to carry those tools around. So what are the tools you're using with your kids, right? We don't want to be stuck in the 1980s or 90s. So we can always do better, right? So when you think about using tools like Adobe, really going to support your classroom to really come alive. We work very hard as educators to speak and to be um, actively engaged with them. But by using tools like Adobe Page, Spark, um, Adobe Spark Page and Post, it gives you that opportunity to bring classroom teaching alive. And one of the things that Adobe is working on is to make sure that they are focused on the four C's. So I think that's beautiful because not all um, technology tools focus on that, but Adobe does. Okay. So let me recap for you quickly. We've got Smart Post, Page, and Video. Remember that Premium is free on April 1st. And check out the Adobe Exchange to get more training on how to use the tools, okay? And they make awesome student projects. 
And remember, replace the fear of the unknown with curiosity. As you were saying earlier, how do you use that? I'm not sure. I want you to replace the fear of the unknown, get curious about using Adobe tools, and really have it spark interest in your classroom. Okay? And I want to thank you for coming today.